In this video, I'll be sharing with you this amazing scholarship by the Commonwealth to all those from the Commonwealth countries to enable you study in any university in the United Kingdom. It is a fully funded scholarship which covers all the costs you can think of. It covers your full tuition fees, gives you a living allowance at the rate of £1,347 per month or if you are living in the London metropolis, you'll be getting £1,600. You would also get allowance for warm clothing, a study travel grant, child allowance of £576 per month, and there would also be disability allowance for those that meet the requirements. And the good thing about this particular scholarship is that it does not require any candidate to take an IELTS test. So you are welcome to apply. I'll be walking you through the most important things you need to know regarding this scholarship to enable you apply to it successfully. Also, I'll be sharing with you some helpful tips. So please consider watching this video till the end to get all the vital details. Hi, my name is Sylvia and subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell. Also like and share this video with your family and friends. So this is the Commonwealth Master Scholarship. The intended beneficiaries of this Commonwealth Master Scholarship are for candidates from eligible low and middle income Commonwealth countries to undertake full-time thought master study at a UK university. We're going to see the list of Commonwealth countries in a bit as well as the UK universities that are eligible for this scholarship. So these are the eligible countries that can apply to this Commonwealth Master Scholarship. A whole lot of countries are listed here so you can take your time and go through and see if your country is on this list. They have Bangladesh, Botswana, Cameroon, Ghana, India, Kenya, Lesotho, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, Nigeria, Pakistan, Rwanda, Syria, Leone, South Africa, Sri Lanka, Gambia, Tanzania, Uganda, Togo, Zambia. Please do well and go through the list. So this is the financial assistance you'll be receiving from this scholarship. You'll be receiving an approved airfare from your home country to the UK and as well as the return ticket. Also, you'll be receiving the approved tuition fees and there is also the monthly stipend at the rate of £1,347 per month or £1,652 per month for those whose university is in London Metropolis. And there is a warm clothing allowance where applicable, you would also get a study travel grant towards the cost of your studies within the UK or overseas. If you have children and you are widowed, divorced or a single parent, you are going to be receiving a child allowance of £576 per month for your first child and £143 for your second and third child up to the age of 16 years. So move to the UK with your dependents. And for you to be an eligible applicant, you should be a citizen of the eligible Commonwealth countries which we already looked at and you should be a permanent resident in this Commonwealth country and you should be available to start your studies in the UK for the academic year September 2024 and you should already hold your first degree by September of 2024 but here it says that the CSC would not normally fund a second master's in case you would like to do a second master's they don't basically fund it but it says you must provide justification as to why you wish to undertake these studies and you're unable to afford to study in the uk without this scholarship and have provided all supporting documentation in the required format so once you meet this requirement then you're eligible to apply please give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and share it with your family and friends also subscribe to the channel to be part of this community and how do you apply for this scholarship and right now the scholarship for the 2024 2025 academic year are already open so you can already send in your application immediately and the deadline for application is on the 17th of october 2023 and you'll be starting your studies in the uk in september october 2024 and this is the link where you're going to be clicking for your application which is of course free of charge and it says they don't accept any other application or documentation that is not submitted via this link basically there are two ways of making this application the first is that you must click on this online application system to submit your application to the csc and then the second is that you must go to your nominating agency and apply through them and this is the link to the national nominating agencies and as well as selected non-government organization and charitable body so depending on the one you want to go for you can click on any of these links we're going to come to that in a bit and here it says the CSC does not accept direct application for these scholarships you must go through the second step which is going through the nominating agencies 
and note that the nominating agencies may have their own closing date for this application so please do well to reach out to them as early as possible so let's have a look at the supporting documents first is a proof that you're a citizen of the eligible commonwealth countries the second is that you need a full transcript detailing all higher education qualifications and the third is that you need references from at least two individuals it must be in pdf format signed and must be on institutional letterhead or an email clearly showing the sender's details. Applications will be considered ineligible if any of the required documentation is not met by the closing date. And for you to apply to this scholarship successfully, I would encourage you to read this completing the application form. It explains all what you're going to be seeing in the application form and all what is needed from you. So please do well and take your time and read through it. Also, this is their selection process and criteria. So they're going to be considering your application based on academic merits, quality of your research proposal, and potential impact on the development of your country. Applicants should note the criteria carefully and link their answers in the application form to each point listed. So basically, you should write your statement referencing either of these six following teams listed here because these are the teams that the CSC tends to support and these are their development teams. So you can click on any of these links to know more about these things. The scholarship funds one-year thought master's programs only and does not fund MBA degrees. And to send in your application to the CSC, all you simply have to do is to click on this link here. Then it brings you to this page where you are going to be submitting the master's application and here you select your nationality and then you click on next and continue your application you can also save it at any point and thereafter the second thing you have to do is to click on the national nominating agency so that you can apply through the agency as well and this is the link to the national nominating agency so here you're going to basically select your region if you're from africa asia depending on your region you click on it so for pakistan this is your contact details for your agency so you're going to either write to this email address or you visit their website and ask them information about this particular scholarship remember most of the nominating agencies might have an earlier closing date so you do well and contact them as early as possible and ask them information and the requirements for them to nominate you for this scholarship so depending on your country you click on the information and reach out to them similarly if you want to go through the non-governmental organization and charitable homes you click on it so these are the list for the NGOs and charitable body nominators. So here you can go through all the NGOs and see if your country is listed in any of the NGOs, then you can contact any of these NGOs if you want to go through them. Importantly, note that candidates will be required to sign an undertaking to return to their home country as soon as possible after the end of the award. And remember, you must take the necessary steps to apply for admission to your preferred university in advance before the scholarship starts. And to apply for a study place at the university, these are the list of universities that has an MOU with the CSC. So do well to check out this university, visit their website and apply for a study program. And as always, I would encourage you to go through their frequently asked questions. You click on this link to their page. It has a whole lot of questions covered there so that you are very much aware of what you're applying to or if you have any questions about Juni. And finally, I would encourage you to visit their website. It has various programs and scholarships here, which I will be covering in my subsequent videos. So please stay tuned. Please let me know in the comment section below if you'll be taking advantage of this wonderful scholarship opportunity. This is pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Like and share this video for others to benefit from it. Drop your comments and concerns and I will respond to each of them. And with this, I want to say thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.